Hey, what's going on everybody? Chad Christian, aka Coach CWC, coming at you with another exciting video. Today I'm bringing you the Razor Blade 14. This is the late 2016 edition with the NVIDIA Graphics 1060 processor. Let's get into it. This comes with Windows 10. It has a 14 inch full HD 1920 by 1080 IPS LED backlit display. 6th gen Intel Core i7 6700HQ mobile processor. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, 256 gig PCIe solid state drive, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics processor, and weighs 4.16 pounds. And over here on the left hand side you got your standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, two USB 3.0 ports, and your AC adapter. And over here on the right hand side you got your USB-C which is Thunderbolt 3, one USB 3.0, a full size HDMI, and a spot where you can connect your MagSafe lock to. On the bottom of the unit you have two cooling fans. Make sure when you're playing any heavy games or doing any intense programming that you make sure that this thing can breathe so try not to set it directly on your lap. Now when you open up this laptop, you're greeted by this beautiful keyboard and trackpad. This is an all aluminum build. You can see here that you've got two top facing uh, firing speakers, sound very good. And you can see that each individual key is lit up with an LED. There's supposed to be millions of colors that you can set this to. That's just a custom setup that I have on there now. This is a glass track pad, so it doesn't spring at all. The, the track pad is solid, but you do have buttons here. So you have a left and a right mouse button. And they do have a, uh, a good tactile feel to them. Nice and clicky. Now up here on the keyboard, the keyboard's really nice. It has a 1.1 millimeter of travel. And same here, it has a, a nice clicky feel to it. Doesn't really bottom out when you're typing, and I like that. There isn't a ton of flex on the keyboard either given the fact that it's all aluminum. The unit comes with a 70 watt power battery and in regular use you can get around 6 hours and uh, heavy gaming you get around 2 to 3 hours just really depends on how hard you're pushing this unit and what temperature you have your fans on either the cool um, or the low power mode. Now over here in your Razer Synapse tool, you can see you have a lot of different customizations. You can set up profiles. You can tell it to turn the uh, lights off when the unit reaches a certain battery mode. You can see you can change the fan control from cool to quiet. Um, just a lot of cool different things you can do here. Of course, one of the main things is the setting the keyboard lights. I know everybody loves to do that. So let me show you some of the cool things you can do with the keyboard. You can see here that it's changing in and out from different colors. And if we go up here to our tool and click on the drop down right now, it's set to spectrum cycling. So you got fire, and there's all sorts of stuff you can do. You can set individual keys. So that one's pretty cool. Looks like the matrix with the green. I can see here I can change it to blue. You can change it to any of the color combinations you want. There you go, a little rainbow effect. So you can set it to go to the right, you can set it to go to the left. So pretty cool. While I wouldn't buy the system just for this um, keyboard, it is really neat. You will like it. It adds something cool to it. It's unique. No other laptop has it, so very cool. Nice job again, Razer. Now one of my biggest pet peeves of the keyboards are you can't see the different function keys up on the top what they do. So what I did is I color coordinate them. So you can see F2 and F3 are now green. So those are my volumes. F1 is set to mute. Over there you can see my F8, F9 is display. So I color coded them in yellow. So you can do some cool things to at least get past that. I just wanted to do a little size comparison. This is the MacBook Pro 15 with touch bar that I've got it sized up against. You can see it is uh, pretty close in size. I mean the MacBook did a really good job of making it so small and compact but you can see that both of these systems are really beautiful. If you guys want to see a comparison between the two and other verses make sure you comment down below. 
Now the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Let's get into the gaming and performance. Here we go. Now on our SSD Crystal Disk Mark score, we got a read of 1583 and a write of 309. So this is a really fast drive. And over here on our 3D Mark score, I used Time Spy. You can see here that the score is a 3418. And this is where it matches up against other systems. So it's a good powerhouse, nice system for a compact design. So the first game I'm going to show you here is Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Let me go ahead and go to the settings so you can see what, uh, what I have the screen set for. Screen refresh rate on this game only lets you do 40 or 60, so I'm going to go ahead and set it to 60. My resolution is 1920 by 1080. Everything else I'm going to leave default. <laughs> Next game we got up, let's try a little Grand Theft Auto 5. Same thing, I'm going to keep it at 1920 by 1080 refresh rates at uh, 60 hertz right now. Everything's on high and very high, so I just basically told it to max all the settings. You can see the video memory is using 3 gigs out of the 6 gigs. Hey, you got to get out of here! So I'm going to leave you, my king! Go! Come on! Come on! So we were averaging around 45 frame rates. If you want to get maximum frame rates, they'll turn the MSAA off. Obviously keep the V-Sync off. You can even leave your FX uh, anti-aliasing on, but watch the difference that you get here as soon as you turn those off. Yeah, so now you see and all this shit paid for with bad credit. Oh, so I'm going to let you see what this game plays like at the Which one you uh, want, nigga? Settings. Like, hey, hit me on the speakerphone, bro. Oh, it's like that? For sure, homie. Right up here, homie. I'm about to go nice and slow for your bitch ass. Okay. Hey, remember we got to be careful with these rides, homie. Simeon ain't about to dock my pay again. Homie, man, if you need some bread, I can hook you up with JB's tow truck. It ain't got glamour, but it's some money to be made. So him and Tanya can smoke crack in peace? Homie, so I'm good. So as you can good. see, it plays Grand Theft Auto V great. So let's see what this one looks like. So the next game we're going to show here is The Witcher 3. And I'm doing the same thing. I got it set to Ultra. Resolution set to 1920 by 1080. The NVIDIA Hairworks is turned on and everything is set to the maximum that it can go. So let's see how this looks. She's likely see to be more of a challenge. Oh. Oh. What am I supposed to parry? I'm fighting a stupid dummy. Come on! Pretend now, live later. Oh, Repost! Strike! Counter-strike! Maybe a storm's coming. <laughs> so again at ultra with everything on you're getting over 40 frames per second if you want to just change a couple of settings you could literally just turn off the hair works and you're probably going to get uh you know 50 mid 50s and if you wanted to go higher than that just take it off the ultra so this this definitely oh, yeah, plays yeah. witcher 3 bring the day no to a problem. close we'll go over and a this few is Witcher's one of the most signs. graphic intensive Let's games start out right now point. between the gpu and using the cpu so it runs very well so let's see what the next game looks Jerry. like next up we have doom so again 1920 by 1080 we'll set everything to ultra this is using the open gl 4.5 api everything is completely maxed out go ahead and save these settings and let's see what this looks like
So as you can see, this just smokes doom at over 100 frames per second. Everything maxed out. This is a powerful gaming laptop. Very beautiful. Very powerful. If you guys want to see more gaming videos like this, make sure you let me know down in the comments below and I'll do that for you. Get up for you is Far Cry Prime. Now, unfortunately, during the recording of this, it did not get my frames per second, but it was getting over 60 frames per second. I'm going to show you a little bit of this gameplay footage, and then I want to show you what the um, GPU temperature looks like after playing a couple hours of games. I know there is no GPU uh, thermal throttling, so even with it getting a little warm, it, it never throttled, which is great. So you can see my GPU core temperature never got to 79 degrees Celsius, so pretty incredible. And that's going to do it today for the Razer Blade 14 2017 edition with the NVIDIA 1060 review and gaming performance. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, make sure you click that thumbs up subscribe make sure you leave your notifications on because i do try to do daily videos for you if you would as always make sure you share this with your friends and i'll see you guys